Are you tired of breaking apart your pallets like this? I am. Stay tuned for a new tool on Garden Fork. First, I want to give credit where credit's due. I didn't invent this. My design is a modification of two different designs that I found in Instructables from Rabitsky and Darren. So a big thank you for them for giving me the genesis of the idea. Here's what I built. I'm using angle iron and some black pipe here and I built, oops. So to start out with, I have a piece of three quarter inch, three foot pipe with a three quarter inch right angle here. And my idea with the right angle was this would be increased leverage when you're prying. And then I took an angle bracket here and I laid it about where I thought it should go and I marked it here and on a drill press I drilled these two holes. I'm just going to make sure that these are all truly one quarter here. So to assemble this I've got two quarter inch these are grade 5 bolts, which are little higher quality bolts. I've got some quarter inch nylock nuts and some oversized 3 8 nuts to act as spacers, some regular washers, then some smaller bolts here with lock washers. Lock washers are the key here for everything. So our quarter inch bolts go through two of the pieces of angle bracket. And then I slide on two of the oversized 3 8 nuts here, one 3 8 nut here, and three washers. So two on one side and one on the other? Right. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Cool. So we have space here, and I put it on backwards. So <laughs> this should be pointing the back. Then we take a lock washer and yeah. one of these nylon nuts. They're the key, I remember. Yep. So we've got these two brackets on each side and they could come apart. So I'm going to put a bolt here. Now the fronts of the brackets are held together. All right, assembled here. My thought with the elbow is it would be some increased leverage when you're bending back on the pallet. Be curious to see how that works out. But this. I like it, there's no welding. You can get this stuff at your hardware store. Oh, I forgot to do one thing, hold on. So our angle brackets have a little sharp edge here and I'm just gonna round that down so it doesn't punch holes in the pallet wood. Ready? Ooh. How cool is that? Yeah, it's gonna break. <sighs> is this part of the trial and error? Yeah. It was really cool while it lasted. So these bent quite a bit. So my thinking is I'm going to double up and have four brackets on both sides of our tool. Ready? So I want these four brackets to work as one. So I'm going to put two bolts in each side of the bracket. Alright, four on each side. Tighten this all up. Let's go test it again. Alright, here's our new rig. Wow, much more solid. Much more solid.
My goal here was to be able to go to the hardware store and buy the parts to make a pallet breaker, and we were able to do that. I could see some refinements, maybe some stronger bolts here and stuff, but that is for you guys to figure out. I've gone this far, can you take it farther? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want eclectic DIY, cooking, gardening, pallet breaker stuff, I do this every week. You can subscribe, hit the subscribe button down there, and boom. So thanks for watching. As always, make it a great day. I'll see you.